for streaming live worldwide. You know the vibes. Yo, what am I saying? What am I saying? Welcome to the listening party. If you're Instagram, if you start having problems with your Instagram, you can go on YouTube, Vic Santoro TV. Cause we're streaming live on YouTube worldwide, wherever you are. Instagram worldwide, you know the vibes. Shout out everyone locked in. Glory days, listening party. Yeah, man, the project comes out at 12 o'clock. So really, like, yeah, in the next hour. So we're going to vibe. I'm going to run through some of the tracks. I'm going to talk through some of the creating it and rare whatnot. You know the vibes already, man. But um, a few people are going to join the live as well. A few people are going to join the live. Well, shout out everyone locked in. Machine Baby, I see you. I'm going to do some shout outs. Come on, 2333, I see you. Nikki Slim Ting, my G. You know the vibes, I see you. Who else is out there? Just put the wave sign up. Let me give you a shout out. We're streaming worldwide right now. Streaming worldwide. And obviously, I'm going to give other people opportunities to come on. As I run through the tracks, I'm going to give other people opportunities to come on and see how they feel about the tracks, etc., etc. You get what I'm saying? Yes, on your birthday. That's what's going on. On your birthday. <laughs> Nelsa, I see you. What's going on? Let me see the wave sign so I can give you a shout out. Give you a shout out. Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. You. That's, yeah. Okay, no trolling is going to be tolerated tonight. The moment I see one comment that I don't like, I'm going to remove you from the live. So, definitely. So, make sure you keep it respectful and keep it positive because that's what we're about tonight. We're celebrating glory days. Like, my debut, like, project, like, actual, actual project. You get what I'm trying to say to you? It's been years. Um, obviously, for those of you that have been watching my lives, you lot know my story. You know the things I've been through. Like, I've been very open about my life and where I've been and et cetera, et cetera. So what I'm doing right now, like this project, what it means to me, this is like, I remember like guy in jail at 17, like I'm just thinking it's over. And all I wanted to do was rap even before there was a scene, you get what I'm trying to say to you. And this project was a project that was just in my head the whole time I was locked up. I was just thinking like, right, like I'm, I'm never gonna get to tell my story. That was just my thing. Like I'm never gonna get to tell my story. Um, and that's what I prayed for every day. Like, yo, let me get to tell my story. So this project means everything to me. It's like, you know, um, I've gone through a lot of different things to get to this point, um, made a lot of mistakes, you know, the vibes already, you know, but none of us is perfect. But finally, I've got to make a project that I feel like I've got to, you know, I've had the opportunity to tell my story and I've, it's packaged in a way I feel like, yeah, man, you lot are going to appreciate, you know what's going on already. Darren, I see you. Blessings to you as well. Yeah, man, this, I, see, I see the love hearts, man. Shout out, you know, you know what's going on, man. You know what's going on. Um... So I'm going to talk through about the project a little bit. The project's called Glory Days. If you're, think, you're probably thinking, Glory Days, what's that about? What's Glory Days about, Vic? Glory Days is about, like, a time in my life where things felt less pressured, where things, I don't know, before things became complicated, that's how I look at it. So that's what Glory Days is to me. It's like, um, I remember just being, I don't know, 12 and life seeming like, you know, it's going to be all right. And then before I knew it, like, I was 17 in prison. And it was just like, bro, what happened, you know? And it took me, like, you know, years and years to try and retrace my steps. So, but the main thing about it was about telling my story. So that's what Glory Days is about. It's about childhood days when it was only about all-day barbecues. Like, the new generation ain't going to know about it, but it's about all-day barbecues. It's back to them days where you only cared about having a shape up to the time when you only cared about impressing the girl next door, you know, like that. You know when you used to, like, cut and paste the bus bus, them days, you know, like that. So um, that's what Glory Days means to me, and it's, like, the, my happiest moment in my childhood, and I feel like I'm living, I'm reliving my second childhood now with everything I'm doing in my life and the opportunities I've got and things like that. So, yeah, man, I wanted to tell the story through that. Um, basically, the project is a trilogy project. It's going to be in three parts. So the first part is about to come out tonight at 12. The first part is called Pain. Um, the Pain is literally, it's five tracks. So basically it's a 15-track project, but I decided to do it in three. So the first part is called Pain. That's the first five tracks. Second part is called Progression. That's, that's that. And then the, the third part is called Lifestyle. 
Um, Cause for me, obviously, you know already like the music scene. You know we have, you know we have a million, million artists, and I didn't want to put 15 tracks on a project and be like, "Yo, guys, like listen to these 15 tracks," because I felt like if I'm not already one like an artist you listen to, 15 tracks might be too much. But if I do it in fives, really, I'm asking for 15 minutes of your time. You get what I'm trying to say to you, like, so the five tracks is 15 minutes each one. I'm asking for 15 minutes and. Yeah, so I know that it's more likely that people are going to be like, you know what, I'm going to give him 15 minutes still. I'm going to give him a little 15 minutes and see what he's saying. So that's my thing about it. And I want people to listen to the music and just let the music speak to you, man. Um, I talk a lot about channeling. Um, I think I'm getting my first opportunity to demonstrate that and to really be, you know, be channeling. So it's like I think I'm having some deep conversations with this music and I hope it resonates with people and I hope people can identify with it. But it's my deepest thoughts. It's me. All the layers are rough. This this is not the Vic on Instagram. This is not the Vic in the music videos or in the films. This is the Vic that when nobody's watching, when nobody's there. These are the conversations I'm having on this project. You get what I'm trying to say to you. So um, shout out everyone that got their goodie bags yesterday. If you got your goodie bag and you're in the chat, make sure you send a request. Come through, talk to me. How did you take in the project? I want to know what you liked. What was your favorite track? Um, this, that, and the third. So yeah, man, make sure you come through. And obviously, if you're just listening through, make sure, like, obviously, you send a request through or try and get through some requests on that and get your thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, we're going to play the project. Um, crazy thing, before I press play on it, um, when I was recording this project, I sort of, you know, I think you guys remember, I came off social media and my thing was deactivated. I had to just block off every avenue of, you know, energies that I didn't really want at the time. I needed like a hope, like I needed to have clarity, you know, like that. So when you want clarity, you gotta go to the mountains to get that. So you have to cut off everything. So it was like a difficult time. So I cut off the social media. Only certain people could have contact to me or have access to me through that period. It was like and it was a seven month period. So it was like I had to really stay disciplined and it was like, you know, this is your moment. Like, you know, I'm trying to say to you, you're about to be put in front of the people. So you know, tune in properly. So I did that. Um, so yeah, the project, and even like, even the recording process, shout out Michelin Chin, my producer. He, you know, he's amazing. And I'm going to talk more about him later on, but we're going to play the first track of the project. The first track is called Therapy. It's featuring um, my cousin Junior, and he just killed it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to just let you take it in, man. Can we run um, Therapy, please? I've been trying to keep up for myself, what a hell of a task. Mom said I've always spoke like I've been here in the past. All the knowledge from my ancestors, pray that all my transgressions, kings never speak, they give orders with a hand gesture. Yeah. I can show you the techers. They used to listen to my calls. They used to go through my letters. But I still found a way to speak in code to my brother. And when it's all said and done, I'd be a goal to remember. I never claim to know it all. I'm just giving my view. When you figure out your purpose, like, who would the new? And mom called, she said I spoke really well in the news. And when I think about my past, at times it left me confused. Like, where was all this brightness buried that was getting through hell? When the judge read out the sentence, was a nail to the head. I weren't meant to get caught up, but I fell for the bread. Guarantee I turn it around, is what I said in my head. Gotta keep it own myself, I can't get caught up. They talk that talk, they couldn't walk inside my shoes, nah. On the move, like, what's a brother gotta do, yeah? Making moves, I was a brother, gotta do, yeah. Meanwhile, they were praying that I fall. I was down with my back against the wall. I had a dream that I had it all. I told myself I had to get it all. When the going gets tough, you find some solace in your struggle, and the mind deteriorates when your problems start to double. Running on the roads, man was living in a bubble that will burst really quick. When they hit you with a couple, I'm just telling you this thing, bruv. Killers on the road in jail are catting for a wing job. And your family's gonna feel a pain they never dreamed of. What I'm trying to say, fam, don't get yourself binged off. I'm breaking down this thing, cuz. Plus, I'm living footprints. Something you can follow when you get out of the hood, king. 
wanna get the gold Gotta go and make some good links Grab a couple checks here and there That's a good drink, don't care what the hood thinks I realise my destiny Long life and goodwill for people that were there for me Medallion round my neck, got the haters wishing death for me Told the young boy you want advice, you can send for me You know the vibes though Gotta keep her in myself, I can't get caught up They told that talk, they couldn't walk inside my shoes, nah on the move, like what's a brother gotta do, yeah Making moves, I like what's a brother gotta do, yeah Me and my mother were praying that I'd fall I was down with my back against the wall I had a dream that I had it all I told myself I had to get it all yeah. Yo, yo, listen Yo, I've had, that, I've had that song on repeat, you know. I've had that song on repeat as an intro song called Therapy. Um, just to explain, like, my thoughts behind that. I don't, You know what it is? I think I got to the stage of my life where, like, you see, like, in order to do music, um, if you pay attention, if you was listening, like, I rap the way I talk, basically. So my thing was, like, I was going to do music and represent myself from a real standpoint. Like, I never want nobody to listen to my music and be like, that's not the Vic I know, or like Vic don't think like that. You know, I want you to be able to see the correlation. So um, therapy was like, I think at a point where I'd been recording for months and I'm sitting there like raw, like, and I'm looking, you know, like I said in, in therapy, I said, where, where was all this brightness? Where was, where was all this brightness buried? I was going through hell. When the judge read that the sentence was a nail to the head, I went meant to get caught up, but I fell for the bread. Guarantee I'll turn it around, what I said in my head. And these are nostalgic moments for me where I remember being in the court cell, getting my sentence fresh, and I'm down in the cell like, yo, I've been buried. They're trying to bury me alive. And and I said to myself, yo, I'm going to turn this around. Like, I don't care how long it takes. Like, I don't care what I got to go through. Like, I'm going like, to turn, I'm I'm gonna turn this around. You get what I'm trying to say to you? And I think the biggest thing I never wanted to live with was accepting that I was just a failure. Like, I couldn't, you know get myself out of my situation and make better choices and make d better decisions to benefit me. You get what I'm trying to say to you. So that's what um, therapy is about. And obviously, obviously, Junior SSC, follow his page on Instagram, Junior SSC on the chorus. You know, he just killed, he, he killed the chorus, man. He came through and brought the energy. And again, again, that was not, me and him didn't even have a conversation like we're going to studio to record this. So how my sessions are done, Everything's on energy, you get what I'm trying to say to you. So I was happy that he was able to tap into himself and get into that layer. And he's got he's got plenty of layers, so you lot are gonna be hearing a lot about him. Junior SSC, make sure you follow him on all socials and he's on the first song therapy. But yeah, I'm gonna move on to the next song. <laughs> this one's a special one as well. This is a special song as well. Shout out everyone locked in anyway. Let me do some shout outs. I see Yoshi in the chat. I see you, L. You know what's going on. That's the boss lady. What are you talking about? Um, Asia, I see you there. That's the queen. Hey, Junior, I see you in the chat. You know what's going on, man. Hit up the page, man. That's it, junior.ssc. You know what's going on. You know, like that. Fat said killers cutting, on, cutting, cutting for a job on the wing. You get me? Like, come on, Fats. You get what I'm trying to say to you. Big up yourself. You know what I'm talking about. You get what I'm trying to say to you. Um... Fats is saying, where's the song that you're talking to yourself? We're rolling it out, man. We're rolling it out. I see Uzi in the, in the chat. Just Uzi official. That's the family. Make sure you follow him up as well. You know what's going on. On the right to support what's going on. You know, like that. But yeah, Blue Tick. I see Blue Tick in the chat. Hey, Blue Tick, make sure you join the chat. Like, make sure you join the chat as well. Like, yeah, I'm trying to say to you. I'm going to play the second song. This one's called Heal My Soul. This is actually featuring my little brother. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Like, you got to remember you lot. Like, check this out. When I go to jail at 17, my little brother is a kid. Like, literally. If you ask me that I ever thought I'd be doing music with him, you get what I'm trying to say to you, or be in a place where my first official project is my little bro. Like, you get, the energy is different, and you're going to see, you're going to hear it in the song. Um, and he came to the studio and killed it. You know, like, same way, like, my cousin did. I'm like, raw, like, you know, yeah, it's not how you lot are moving. So, a little bro came in and killed it. You get what I'm trying to say to you. This next song's called Heal My Soul. I know this one put a smile on my mom's face. It put a smile on the family's face. You get what I'm trying to say to you, because it's like, you know, completing the circle, you know, like that. So, um, 
his Instagram page is Brenzo18. Make sure you follow him. He's got a lot of things coming as well. It's a family full of music. This is coming like you get a chance to say to you some of the other families that came through. But the proof is in the pudding. So we're going to run the second track. It's called Heal My Soul featuring Brenzo. Let's get into this one. <laughs> I'm down on my knees, God heal my soul, yeah, I don't wanna say it's not my fault, I walk through the darkness, still stand bold, yeah, took so many losses down this uh. road. Only guarantee in life is that death is for certain I don't think that I was put on this earth to be working For a next man, building up his pyramid first I rate the actions, you can never fool me with words I want my just dues, people that I trust, there is just few Product of environment, came up as a rough few Tough too, doing what it takes just to cut through Touch who, I ain't having man, trying to box food Off my son's plate, I can't fathom the fault and it's all fun and games till you stand up in court Then comes a the flight date Yeah, they was trying to deport If they succeeded, I'd probably now be lined up in chalk By myself back home in the alley out in K-Town The feeling's different when I pray now When you're on the top, treat people with integrity Cause you might see them on I'm your down way down I'm on my knees, God heal my soul Yeah, I don't wanna say it's not my fault I walk through the darkness, still stand bold. Yeah, took so many losses down this road. I'm, I'm, I'm down on my knees, God heal my soul. Yeah, I don't wanna say it's not my fault. I walk through the darkness, still stand bold. Yeah, took so many losses down this road. I'm down on my knees, God heal my soul. Yeah, I don't wanna say it's not my fault. I don't wanna say it's not my fault. I can't fully make amends for my past But that's life though Think that I was meant for the task Yeah, I'm alright bro Greatness got the zen for the path And I'm consistent Doing what I meant from the start Every time I write a bar Yeah, it stems from the heart School days, beatboxing Yeah, I fell for the art Jailhouse, freestyling Kept my head on the craft Now when the credits roll up See, I'm there on the cast I paved my own way Vic was never gonna be a no-name How you feeling jealous about my progress? That is so lame When you was right there when I was grinding through the cold days It's funny how they all change More money, more problems, that's the life of a boss When close friends switch sides, it's like a knife to the gut They was trying to get me down, I had to fight for my spot And I've been waiting for my time, had my eye on the clock I never lost sleep, suited up, looking like a trustee Big conspiracy, thinking that it must be Table full of made men, everything is lovely we came a long way from Pompey. I'm down on my knees, God heal my soul. Yeah, I don't wanna say it's not my fault. I walk through the darkness, still stand bold. Yeah, took so many losses down this road. I'm down on my knees, God heal my soul. Yeah, I don't wanna say it's not my fault. I walk through the darkness, still stand bold. Yeah, took so many losses down this road. Yo, 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 yo. That one was Hill My Soul featuring Brenzo. You know how mad that is? Like, me and my little brother got a tune called Hill My Soul. You get me, bro? Came through with a hook. Came through with a hook. I see Aaron Watts in this chat. Shout out. You know the vibes already. Asia, you know what's going on. Shout out that you know, like, that podcast crew. You get me? Um, yeah, Hill My Soul was another song that was about, um, I think... When you reach a certain age, especially as a man, you get to a stage in your life where you think, what's, what's my purpose? Like, what's my purpose? What am I here for? Um, so my thing was about, you know, like, only guaranteeing life is that death is for certain. I don't think that I was put on this earth to be working for a next man, building up his pyramid first. I rate the actions. You can never fool me with words. Like, it's just showing what my principles are. I'm putting them first. It's like, you get what I'm trying to say to you, like, that's the place I am in my life, you know, like that. But shout out everyone in the chat. Blue Tick, I see you. Natty, I see you. Match, I see you. Make sure, don't be shy. Make sure you send through your requests. 
as you're listening through. If you want to speak on any of the tracks you've just heard, let me get your opinion on it. Glory Days is out at 12 p.m. tonight, 12 p.m. on all platforms. I believe it's 40 minutes to go, and you can take this in in your own space, you know, like that. Um, shout out Nelson, I see you there. Um, King Knox says strong bars, you know the vibes. You see, my thing is this, it's like, like I said in the previous in the pudding, like I'm channeling. And when you take this music in, in your own space and in your own, you get what I'm trying to say to you, like, you're going to, you know, you're going to see what it's about. And I think, um, for me as well, it was important to make sure that in terms of like trying to tell my story, I'm honest about all parts of it. It's not just about the good bits. It's not, I never like, you know, I'm going to talk about all sides of it and how I feel emotionally, you know, like that. But yeah, 12 a.m. couldn't come any soon. Uh, come on, man. Shout out the podcast crew. Shout out the podcast crew. Um, I'm going to go into one more song, then I'm going to take in some lives. I'm going to have some conversations with people. So this is your three minute warning. Ladies, go and fix your wig, whatever you got to do. Man, them, make sure you check, get the Vaseline, make cause this thing. You, you're, listen, we're streaming worldwide. You get what I'm trying to say to you. You're going to have man in the favelas in Brazil watching this. So make sure you're coming to you correct and representing, you know, like that. So this is your three minute warning. If you want to come on the live, make sure you pattern up your thing, send your request through, and I'm going to get, um, start dealing with the request after this next song. Um, this next song is called Gaps. Um, like, shout out my bro Mega. Mega said to me, yo, like, that song needs a video. He said it needs a video. I'm saying, yo, I hear you, Megs. You get me. Um, but this song Gaps is just my deepest thoughts, man. Like, it's it's self-explanatory. I like I got no words for it. It's a really emotional song. You get me? So shout out everyone locked in anyway. Whatever you're doing tonight, make sure you're sipping something. If you're not sipping something, make sure you put something in the air. You know what's going on. You get what I'm trying to say to you. If you don't want to put something in the air, just make a cup of tea, man. But make sure whatever you're doing is vibey, you know, like that. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna get in the next song. It's called Gaps. Um and yeah, I have a conversation on it. So I can see some requests coming through. Shout out blue tick. And everyone in the request. But yeah, I'm going to get people in the request after this. And we're going to just, you know, talk through some of the songs we've just listened to. But we're going to run through track number three on Glory Days, Pain. And this one is called Gaps. So let's get into this. Hey, make a I think the gaps are getting closer now. I heard they said that I'm the new sound poster child Trying to get this picture perfect so I had to post a while Now it's sounding like I went and got a ghost to write Yeah, so my G let's make a toast tonight Thanking God for all the harsh lessons kinda coach me right Death before dishonor, that's the oath we write I'd rather be up north in a jail that is mostly white I gotta thank the judge who woke me up Kinda devils looking stripes and it won't be us I was just standing on the survey saying load me up Now I'm talking prices to promoters when they phone me up You know like that When my verdict came back, the judge was like I'm looking at giving you life And I was thinking like, what, what are you gonna give me life? For this, I mean imagine I had to go to my assessment With the probation so they could determine whether or not I should get life or not Do you know how mad it is to have to sit down with someone for an hour And they've got to decide whether or not you should spend your life in jail Selling you fam, it's crazy. It's real life, I came in well equipped. The plug knows my word, this my bond, I never burn a bridge. Memories of Chubsy as I burn a spliff. Showing in my first bars in class when I learned to spit. Yeah, I still remember how it all felt. Rest in peace to all the soldiers that I've all felt. That's the reason with this pen and a pad, I can't hold it in. Swear down, it's turning me mad. I had to shoulder it when I heard the death of my dad. And that's the mood I'm in, cause if I felt some friends would be glad. Cause jealousy is cheap and betrayal is even cheaper And if the preview planned it, then the punishment is steeper You know like that? You know what's mad, yeah? I got convicted under the joint enterprise law I remember even when I got nicked, I'm thinking nah, No way they can send me jail for something I didn't actually do myself You know like that? And then by the time the case started building and they got to trial I was like, raw, they actually being serious Next thing I know, the verdict was guilty and that was it It's kind of crazy if I'm telling you Rage, rage, rage. Yeah, that's self explanatory. That one there is self explanatory. Self explanatory. Let me see who's on the request box. Let me see what the request box. Let me give it a second. Shout out everyone locked in. That one was called Gaps. Um, yeah, self explanatory. Um, I think um, 
in the first in interlude, I'm talking about um, like like let's get into it. Like the joint enterprise law, you know, you lot always hear me talk about the in my Instagram live about joint enterprise law. So basically, what I was talking about in that song is like when I got nicked, I was kind of like. I wasn't really aware of that law. You get what I'm trying to say to you. My thing was more like, "Raw, you lot are saying I did this. I know I didn't do this. So it's like, and then to get to the station and it's like joint enterprise, even if you didn't do it, you're not telling us who did it. So we're charging you with it. I was thinking, you lot being serious. And before I knew it, I was in court. And it's like, they're like, yeah, 10 years. I'm just like, what? Like, would you not, you know, what do you mean? You get me? But, um, yeah, that song, that's what that was about. I was shocked out of my wits. Like one minute, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Next minute, it was like I was birded and that was it. Um, and then I did my sentence and I came out of jail and then the law got abolished. And it's like, hold on a minute. So I got convicted by a law that's been abolished because it was founded by the Supreme Court that it was being applied um, disproportionately. You get what I'm trying to say to you? So so why was I, how can I, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's still, it's still a conflicting feeling within myself. So um, that's what I'm talking about in that track um, and things like that. But it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Let me get let me get someone in the live. Let me get someone in the live. Let me get someone in the live. Boom. Let's talk about it. Shout out everyone locked in. Glory Days is out at 12 midnight. You get what I'm trying to say to you. All digital stores. Make sure you follow me on Spotify as well. You get what I'm trying to say. Yo. Yo. <laughs> what are you telling me? <laughs> Yeah, come on, come on, man. Shout out, my bro. That's the blue tick. Make sure you follow the blue tick. Yeah, bro, man. What are you telling me? How do you feel? Yeah, man. How do you feel? How do you feel about the project, man? How do you feel about it? You've listened to it. How do you feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro, man. What's your what's your favorite track on the project? Yeah, what's what what's what's your favorite track on the project? Yeah, that's that's proper. That is proper. Yeah, I can hear you still. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You what? Yeah, I can hear you still. I can hear you. You got with little bro. Yeah. Can you hear, man? The tune with little bro. Yeah. The tune with little bro, and the one where you're talking about you getting the bird, and the one where you're talking about that's the hardest thing. Hard. That's the hardest thing for me, because I know the thing in it. For, like I'm attached to the, I'm attached to that story in it. So it's hard. It's hard. It's fire. It's fire. It's fire. Need, you know the vibes, blood. It's mad out here right now. Yeah, come on, my guy. You already know what's going on, man. And obviously, you know what it is, bro. Like, no, I was gonna say, you know what it is, yeah. Like, for me, for the people that know me, obviously, you went school with me, bro. And obviously, you like we all grew up together. 
I never want to put something out where you man listen to it and be like, right, that's not the Vic. That's not, what's my man talking about? You know what I'm saying? So it was about putting something, it was about putting something out that people that I grew up with. I have a saying, Vic. You see, if you're not the same way you was in school, I don't want to know. You understand me? And that is the truth. There's a lot of people that's just grown up into different people that you didn't know when you knew them. So you are the same, brother. The energy that's coming out of this thing is nothing but authentic. You get me? But anybody that ain't... Like, man was on the block with you today. Come you on. understand? You was where we all started. It's authentic. It's yes. real authentic. Came come and drop. On, them man, they can come back to the hood and drop off. You bars. understand? They're not them bro. funny rappers that talk a lot you of jazz understand. and they can't come and stand on the block. Yeah? Yeah? He can stand up on the block with the man them all day, eight day. I understand. He's past his stamped and certified respected oh. member. Come on, man. Come on. Man. You know the vibe. Listen, bro, man. Listen. Love for coming on. You know, you know, family. You already know what's going on, man. The people them. The people them. Check out the Bleating Podcast. Like and stream and buy the sh- shit out of glory days. I like. No excuses. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see nobody in this thing and then they're not supporting the thing. If you're supporting, support it, man. Glory days, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, glory days, my brother, man. Love and respect. You already know the vibes, man. All right, love. Yo, shout out to the bros. That's the Blue Tick Podcast. Make sure you follow that up. That's the bro skis. You get me? Um, but yeah, they said they like they hold my soul and gaps. A lot of people said that, you know, the vibes already. Keep sending your requests through. I'm going to tell you again, 12 midnight, the project drops, you know, on all digital platforms. Shout out everybody supporting. Um, I want to shout out all the brands that were supporting the gift bags. So basically, obviously, I went around and dropped off packages in the village. You know what's going on. You can't come to the village empty handed. You get me? You got to bring a little care package and take care of the people them. So I went around and dropped around some packages to, you know, a few selected individuals. So big up to everyone that came out and linked me. And you get what I'm trying to say to you. You know, for the benefit of the tape, we was respecting the COVID thing. So it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was all respectful. You get, you get what I'm saying? Uh, shout out everyone locked in. Only right to support. I see you. Um, yeah, shout out to Only Right to Support as well. Like pages like that, like, and people that run those type of bit, like they've always supported my stuff. And they've always just tried to connect with me, and I really appreciate you. Know I'm trying to say to you, I don't forget that. Like, there's a lot of people I see, there's a few people I've seen in this live that, like, I knew you when I had like a thousand followers. <laughs> you get me? So it's like, I appreciate that. Matt has been that. You know what's going on. You know what's going on. Big you up. You're always locked in. You're always making sure we keep the dialogue flowing. You get what I'm trying to say to you? A man said I used to throw Vic. Yeah, but he won me over, top guy. Yeah, big you up, man. <laughs> you know what's going on. <laughs> you know what's going on. Um, yeah, I'm going to play another track, then I'm going to get someone else on. Basically, the next track is called Outcome. This one was produced by A-Class, Shah A-Class. Um, funny story about this track here. Yeah. So basically, um, so my manager sort of sorted out the session and rare whatnot. So we were, we were going to Birmingham to record it. I was, because I had to film on the Chop Shop um, podcast. Yo, big up Chopper and the rest of the mandem. You know what's going on. I sent you lot a little care package. You get me? So make sure you lot let me know you got that all safe and that everything's elastic and plastic. You know what's going on. But um, anyway, I was going there to film film that. So, you know, manager thought, okay, you know, we'll get the session in with A-Class because producers like him, I want to work with producers like that because he's amazing and he makes, you, got, you know, the proofs in the pudding. Check him out. You know what's going on. So we went there to Birmingham. Remember, I'm from London, so, and I'm from South London at that. So the rule book is just kind of different. So when we've gone to the studio, I think um, A-Class never had access to his normal spot, so he was using another spot, which was completely fine. But because I'm not from the area, I'm a bit like a fish out of water. I'm in the building trying to assess how many exit routes this has got. I'm trying to work out, you know, where the stairs is leading to. Because that's the kind of person I am, you get what I'm trying to say to you. So whilst I was in there, I was going over that calculation, just trying to make sure I'm aware of my surroundings. But at the same time, he was playing this beat, and I was right into it. And that sounds mad, right? But I was right into it while I was thinking all of this. And then when I recorded it, in my head, I didn't even think it's like I recorded like a, like a dope verse. When we was driving home, literally, we had it on repeat from Birmingham back to London. I was like, what? Is this what we made in there? You get what I'm trying to say to you? So, And for me, it gave me a lot of confidence because subconsciously I made that track. 
So really, it was really honest because it's thoughts that I'm like, right, is this how you really feel, bro? Is this how you really feel? You get a child to say to you. But I'm going to run through that track. It's called Outcome. This one's produced by A Class. You know the vibes. Make sure you follow him at A Class. You get what I'm trying to say to you. You know what's going on. Um, let's get into Outcome. Years I've just literally been holding on. A lot of things I've been going on. Just cause you see me smile always doesn't mean that I'm going strong. I hold it in and I know it's wrong. Kai always spills out in the next way. Probably why I'm banging at the gym on my rest day. Probably why I'm still smoking weed for my headspace. Probably why I always feel scared to react. Kai, I'm worried about my next case. Ah, uh, I'm just speaking my truth. I was bringing it to school. Man was thinking I'm loose. The terrain gets harder. Gotta play way smarter. So we mask up cause where I'm from losing face matters yeah my emotions are numb got the spirit on my nan I wasn't raised by my mum and she always taught me how to pattern myself probably one of the reasons why I struggle asking for help coming from a place where it's shysty grew up in the ghetto in the 90s deaths around the corner yeah it might be ending up in jail was very likely but you know you live and you learn and you put it all in prayers to almighty. All in to almighty. I used to dream about this on a nightly. Now I'm living this and I like it. Ah, uh, I'm just reaching a point in my life where I believe you can seek what you want. And it's long looking back when you lead from the front. No scandals on my name, being a G from the jump. I got a couple friends who got their head in the sands. Building castles in the sky, I told them get you some land. Kai, it's easy just to dream, bro. You gotta make it manifest. How's it gonna happen when all you're doing is standing there? Yeah, I had a reason with sis. I was stressed about some things. What type of living is this? Like, when they gonna leave me alone? You know how long I dreamt about having keys to a home? Yet still I'm up in court spending money on a legal team. Like, I ain't got a bigger dream. Sis told me it's a minor, bruv. Your blessings will be backdated. Cause you're on a path to greatness. Coming from a place where it's shysty. Grew up in the ghetto in the 90s. Death around the corner, yeah, it might be. Ending up in jail was very likely. But you know you live and you learn and you put it all in prayers to Almighty. I used to dream about this on a nightly. Now I'm living this and I like it. Yeah, that one was called Outcome. Can I tell you a lot of secret? I think that might be secretly my favorite track on the project. Um, no, on this part, I said project, you know, but on this part, on part one, I think, because that song was so unintentional, so I felt like it was really honest. And, yeah, to tap into those thoughts in the environment I was in, for me, that was something that I was really happy about. Um, and I think even with the chorus, like, you can hear the influences of, you know, the era that I grew up in, the era of rap. I, I think you can hear it through the whole project, how, you know, it goes from one song to the other. You get what I'm trying to say to you. And my thing is about being being heard clearly. And there's also something that people say to me all the time that, you know, you rap and you don't swear. Is that like a conscious decision? Like, it's not a conscious decision. Literally, I rap the way I speak. And I'm not going to make a song and start saying things that I wouldn't, naturally say if that makes any sense for effect or to try and make the line sound harder i will never compromise my actual identity you know to entertain anybody type thing so i think yeah um i was kind of surprised when i listened back to it. i was like raw like this is mad clean but that wasn't intentional that's just i just wrote i just write the way i talk that's what i'm saying glory days it's more like a conversation you get me but shy everyone locked in shy everyone feeling the vibes my bro, Mixtape Narcotics, I see you in the chat. What's going on? Um, so really, it's like, um, so we're on track four. My thing is, like, when I get to this part of the CD myself, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of in the space where I'm like, okay, I understand. Like, I get the picture. You know, like, you know when you first open a book, you read the first chapter, like, that would tell you, you know, what the story is about and the depth in it. And I think, obviously, that's what I was trying to achieve. And I hope that's what I've done when you take in a project. Um, I see there's some questions here that's been put through. Let me see if I can answer any. Um, okay. 
Um, I'm going to answer one of the questions. Um, the question is, who were your greatest influences to come back? You know what? Yeah, I, I actually did come back. I was trying. To, I was going to say, like, I never went nowhere. What are you talking about? But I actually did come back. Um, greatest influences. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. There was, a, there was a split second when I thought, yeah, this thing's all over. You get what I'm trying to say? In the sense of the type of sound or the music or the art of actually, you know, making this type of music. I thought it was kind of gone based on the way the scene was going. Um, and I think in terms of what brought me back, I think it's just the belief and the hope that naturally things are going to stay the right direction because rap, like hip-hop music, like it comes from the streets, isn't it? Like definitely it's an art of storytelling. And yeah, and that will always take precedence over whatever else is going on. So it took me a while to kind of really acknowledge that and accept that's the way it is. But eventually I did but yeah um but yeah I think that's what like made me feel like and not not only that as well it's like when you're when you do music and you you record as much as someone like me does it's like you end up with loads and loads of music so I think I got to the point where I was like okay I feel like I'm telling the story the right way and I feel like I'm being true to myself and another thing about this project I made it without even thinking about the audience I made it without even considering a audience. It was just about, it has to resonate with me. It has to be my truth. I have to be able to look at it, I think. Yeah, this is definitely me. Um, yeah. Let me get another question. Okay. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Okay. Let me get out of this. Um, yeah. That's an interesting one. Basically, someone just asks, like, what was the thought going behind the production? <sighs> You know what? I literally phoned my producer, shout out to Chain. I phoned him, I said to him, like, um, I want to record this project. And he was like, okay, what type of vibe? Like, where are you trying to go with it? I said, um, like, Victory Lap, like, Nipsey Hussle Victory Lap. And I think that was, like, my album of 2020, like, nonstop. And I said, like, if I, I want to create my version of that, like, if that makes any sense. Because I feel like, like I connected to that, and that's one of my favorite albums. So when you went into the studio, all the production of the beats you're hearing, look, Literally, I was turning up to the studio, like, he, I think 70% of the beats were made on the spot, of, on the whole project. And he'd be making something, and would be, he's like, add that string, add that key, and then the words come to it. So everything was created in the same space, in the same time, in the same room. So, and that was quite different, because normally I'm a kind of person, people, I might get someone send me a beat, I lace it, and I send it back, and all of that, but um, this was quite different. Um, so the production sound was around, you know, trying to make, you know, my own version of Victory Lap, I suppose, which is, it's not about the sound that's on Victory Lap, it's just about the essence of it, and tell, you know, speaking your truth, you know what's going on. But, um, but yeah, um, I see some more questions there, but I'm going to I'm gonna get into the final track, because, you know, we're approaching the release time, it's quarter to 12, Glory Days drops at 12 midnight. Shout out everyone locked in the chat. Shout out everyone that's been shining love. You know the vibes already. Um, I'm going to get into the last track. Um, and I'll see if I can get someone and I'll see if you request it. But I think I've been kind of chatting for too long. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you on because I want to count down the release myself. You know, like that. Um, but the last track, um, track number five, is called Reinvented. You know, you guys have already seen that. That is the single. That is the... You get what I'm saying to you? So I'm going to get into that track. It's self-explanatory. And after that, I'm going to get one more person on the live before we count down the actual the actual drop. So this one's called Reinvented. Um, and it's track number five on the project. Yeah, let's run it. <laughs> Left me stranded, that was there for myself. Looking in the mirror, proud like I'm here for myself. Yeah, uh, I reinvented myself. Can't repeat the same mistakes as what I said to myself. When everybody left me stranded, that was there for myself. Looking in the mirror, proud like I'm here for myself. For yeah. real, I came and saw. 
Hope my son don't imitate my flaws. Far from perfect, and I be the first to name my faults. See everything disintegrate from the case I caught. Cold cell, time to face my thoughts. You see the lane I forged. Heavy burden, and I paid my cost. Front line, had to gain my props. I really went to war with killers. Really used to pray for warmer dinners. You know the saying, what makes us strong is never gonna kill us. Ah, I want my flowers while I'm still here. Party at my funeral. I don't wanna see tears. Celebrate my life just in all white. So the DJ keep my records playing all night. I go into a trance when I prophesize. My life's mad, I can't break it down, I just hypothesize. Yeah, I used to kill the town when I dropped the price. Locked the spot, ran them brothers off, and we cut the ties. Ah, uh, I reinvented myself. Can't repeat the same mistakes is what I said to myself. When everybody left me stranded, I was there for myself. Looking in the mirror proud like I'm here for myself. Yeah, ah, uh, I reinvented myself. Can't repeat the same mistakes is what I said to myself. When everybody left me stranded, that I was there for myself Looking in the mirror proud Like I'm here for myself Yeah I remember when they cut the lights We used candles just to light the rooms Empty cupboards like Damn fam my life is doomed Always knew that I'd be out there soon uh, Thinking about my future Will I even see 21 Or will my light just fade to black On the Amy one Bullet wound in my arm Yeah he gave me one Had to scratch him out That's how the game is won You all know the half I can't trust him, I don't know his heart Sister told me keep your head up, yeah I know it's hard Got my sentence, judge really had no regards Was thinking that I'd never go to yard But despite the journey, I made it here on my own accord Got a title by my name, I'm a owner dog Who the fuck this kid was gonna hold awards Hold on, it's time to lower my sword Ah, uh, I reinvented myself can't repeat the same mistakes is what I said to myself When everybody left me stranded, I was there for myself Looking in the mirror proud like I'm here for myself Yeah, uh, I reinvented myself Can't repeat the same mistakes is what I said to myself When everybody left me stranded, I was there for myself Looking in the mirror proud like I'm here for myself Yeah Yo, that one was reinvented. Yeah, man, you know, you know, I know you feel the vibe. Um, but yeah, like I said, shout out to everyone locked in. We're streaming live on YouTube as well at the moment and on Insta. We're worldwide, we're international. You know what's going on when I come through. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, reinvented was self-explanatory. The video, I wanted to go back to the village and make sure you know me, like, I speak for the village, man. I'm the voice of the village, you know, like that. So that's why we shot the video in turn, um, you know, like, um, and yeah, man, it was going back to places in my childhood that meant something to me. So everything you see in that video is linked into, you know, how I grew up and that. But um, let me get one more person on the live before I jump off, you know, like that. Um, let me see. Who am I getting on? Okay, I don't know exactly who I'm getting on. One more person. Glory Days comes out at 12 midnight. You know, all digital stores, you get what I'm saying? Spotify, Apple Music, all of that, all of that, all of that. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, 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 what's going on, Queen? I'm on, yeah, I reinvented myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> what are you telling me? Are you all right, yeah? Uh, honestly, this is just popping. It is about to be 12 a.m. and I'm here, like, jamming. Look, I've got one double. Okay, you're, oh, you're, you're double streaming. Oh, that's some. That's love. That's what I'm talking about. You're, you're double streaming. You're like, yeah, okay, I see what's going on over there. Can I just say, I need to tell these people. So Vic said it, this has been um, a project that took about seven months. And part of that time, YKLT were able to just see like the passion and the hard work that Vic put into this. So I am so Yeah, now nah, come on, I appreciate you. And obviously, like, you guys know some of the stuff I was going through when we were still filming and, 
you saw how much I would spend all them hours on set, like producing the podcast and then leave and go studio for another 10 hours. It was 24. You know, yeah, come on, man. I appreciate that. But come on up. And I'm happy that obviously you lot have listened to it and you approve as well, because that means a lot. That means a lot. You know what's going on. When the queens approve of the music, you know you're onto something. So, yeah, definitely. I appreciate you guys as well, man. Both, both show. And in terms of my favorite track, Reinvented was. And then I heard um, Heal My Soul. That's the one, right? And what I love about that one, you did it with a bro. Um, the, like, I, think, I think the whole the whole thing is just healing. Like, I hear every song and it's you telling your story. But throughout everything you've been through, um, all the tracks just, just feel like they're healing your soul, but they're healing ours as well. Um, and that whole narrative. Listen, Vic will always take the village along in his come up. Come on, come on. Like, don't get it twisted now. Don't get it twisted. He's not leaving anyone behind. No, and the, the village coming with me. Come on. You you did a, a track with your cousin and with your brother. So those are the ones that really hit me. Come on. Come, come on, on, man. Listen, I appreciate you. I'm going to let you go so you can get yourself ready for 12 p.m. And listen to it. And make sure you follow me on Spotify and let me know what your favorite is, when you're bumping it, what the vibe is. I want to see everything. You know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Love, everyone. All right. Love. love. Good night. And yeah, enjoy. Good night. All right, then. Bye. Yes. Yo, people. As the mirror is in the chat, yo, that's, that's, the, that's the homie. You know, like that. That's the homie. Eloy says that's our favorite track too. Okay, yeah, I respect that. Um, Asia, I see you. I see you. I see you. Asia, this is, you know, I was in the mountains for this Asia. Asia can vouch. I was locked into the work. You get what I'm trying to say to you. Um, but I want to say thank you to everybody that locked into the into the live tonight. I see there's some more requests there. I would have liked to get more people on, but you know what? I'm happy how the show's gone and loads of amazing comments and interaction from people. Um, yeah, man, go take in the music at 12 p.m. It comes out, take it in. Yeah, I'm trying to, it's 15 minutes. Like, give me 15 minutes in it. You got I'm trying to say to you, I'm worth 15 minutes. But, um, yeah, taking the music. I appreciate everyone for all the love and all the support. And, yeah, man, and you lot give me energy. Same way you lot always say I give you lot energy. You get what I'm trying to say to you. But um, that's what the music's for at the moment. So, yeah, man, go take in Glory Days. Thank you for staying up late. Locking in with me, you know, like that. You might be late for your Zoom call in the morning. Just tell them, glory days touch the city. You get what I'm trying to say to you. Um, but listen, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the support. The support. I appreciate the love. 12 p.m., make sure you take it in. Let me know what your favorite tracks are and the rest of it. Um, and everybody have a good night. And, yeah, like, I'm going to go and celebrate right now. It feels like it's my birthday all over again. Shout out everybody locked in. Um, yeah, you know the vibes, you know what's going on. It's your boy Vic Santoro, Glory Days Part 1, Pain, Midnight is coming out. Shout out the whole team, Big Indy, you know the vibes, man. You know what's going on over here. But yeah, that's me. <laughs> yep. <laughs>